Hey everyone, welcome to another episode of Horizon Zero Dawn. Yep, if you watched the last episode, you'll know what we're doing today. We're gonna go help out our Aloy. buddy old pal, oh, Morland. <laughs> Aloy, oh, this is a grand day. Greatness is in the air, or will be soon. I mean, yeah. Huh? Behold, I call it Morland's amazing Morland, right. orb. Inspired by the floating spheres the Banuk used for their clan contests. When aloft, this grand construction will be a spectacle henceforth unseen by the eyes of the living. Unburdened by gravity, it'll be a floating beacon, drawing people hmm. from great distances to our destination of wonders and amusement. Except... We're missing one key piece. A mechanical burner. Small, magnificent design, old world ingenuity at its peak. We found it when we opened up more of the ruins below and discovered numerous statues of strange winged serpents. One such statue had the burner in its mouth. Oh, no doubt part of some ancient fire-filled spectacle. Oh, Aloy, it's perfect for the orb, but a swarm of burrowers chased us out before I could grab it. Did you get it? All right. Okay, Morland, you got me. I'm curious. I'll get it for you. <laughs> I knew I could count on you. Okay, okay. Head down to where we fought that Tide Ripper after you drained all the water. When you get down there, head right and look for a room to the side. The statue you want is up high, looming like a nightmare. So is it like Quetzalcoatl? Oh, and if you'd like a smoother descent into the ruins, Use the elevator. Just head back into the building and go upstairs. Got it. I'll see what I can do. Yeah, so so use the elevator. I'm lazy. I await your return. <laughs> well, I guess that was relatively quick, but let's go over to... Let's see what this other side quest is about, though. <laughs> oh, it's locked. Where? Stemmer. Hello. Did you need something? As a new dream dawned for the adventuring trio, they returned to the depths of the formerly sunken city. Can we get to the point? The fortune was found behind every crumbling wall as a bulging keg bursts with free-flowing ale. That is, we broke our way into more of the ruins below, and in one of them, the wordsmith beheld a glimmering gizmo, a wonder among a sea of wonders. Alas, the gizmo lay beyond his grasp. You saw some kind of gizmo but couldn't get it? A door bars the way, hmm. locked by some confounded means. Moreland contemplated explosives, but Abaddon thought the odds of crushing the gizmo under rubble were too high. For once, the shard counter skepticism might be warranted. The old wordsmith's hopes were dashed, until a friend with a knack for performing the impossible returned from beyond the sands. Might I persuade you to venture beneath the desert once more? Uh, we're going down there anyways. Where is this place? Once you're down there, take a ride at the statue of the giant man. The ruin rests beside a metal tower. And so our heroine went forth, and the words. Oh my gosh. <laughs> hmm. Oh, there you are. So the Boom Sisters wandered back into camp. I knew sending you out there was a solid bet. Now, they have a new project to set their minds to. What did you do? Just a simple investment to protect my other investments. Mutually profitable, mind you. A good shardsman knows how to turn impending disaster into opportunity. And speaking of shards, you here to buy something? Yes, I am, depending on how good your stuff is. 
Hmm. Not sure. Oh, wait a minute. Hold on. Nah. Where's the elevator at? Be the statue. Okay. But where's? I gotta find a way up there. Whoa. Eh, worth a shot. <laughs> Fire gleam. Oh boy. I wonder if we had to start stacking them on top of each other. I wonder if that's it. Like, okay, then I go up here, then I go. Okay. Gotta get higher up to reach the statue. Hmm. Can I not move these? Oh. Oh. I see you there. And I wonder if I use you for this. But I do wonder where those burrow burr of those machines were that they were talking about. Do I use you to go over here now or Yes I do. Oh hold on. It said it was in the mouth. Wait, was this? Oh, I'm silly. That was for when I first jumped up there. Okay, now do I use you to go over here? I highly doubt this is just what this quest is going to be. This quest is just going to be one uh, giant puzzle. I highly doubt that. I guess I was in the right spot. Aha! Almost didn't see you. Come on, get up. Get up, boy. <laughs> I almost call you Oily. Oily. <laughs> Aloy. <laughs> now to get the burner. Is this safe? I'm not sure if this is safe. Well, I got the burner. Better take it back to Moreland. Calling. 
All right, well, hold on. We need to get the other place here. The second verse. Wait, no. Yeah, Gizmo. Okay, that's what I'm looking. At. Might have been the ones that attacked Morland. Hmm. Oh, hey. I think I'm in the right place. Now, where's that Gizmo? There. That must be the Gizmo. Oh. Someone needs a code to open. I should check around the ruin. See if I can find anything that might help. Wait a minute. I'm gonna say, didn't I just come across an audio file? What's in here? Everything's sticking. Ugh, damn this. Hmm. So the Gizmo is actually called an ornament. Hey, uh, your man. Any way to close to the office? Did a corrupted. One three five. Found one of these in another ruin. It sounds like there are more out there, and it looks like there's part of the code. Might be for the door. I better keep looking around. Maybe I can find the rest of it. A hatch might lead to another part of the ruin, but how to get to it? Oh. There's an opening at the top of the fence. Could be a way in if I can find a way to get up there. I can't pull this out. It looks like the crater on top's blocked. Hmm. Maybe there's a way to pull the top crate off. Oh, maybe like through. Oh, I see. There we go. Oh, I'm back outside. What else is up here? Oh, I see that. Oh, there's a ruin in there. Looks like the ornament. Hold on. Okay, let's see if I'm... I believe the last ending three is... Let me just do this. One, three... Seven three nine one three five. All right. This was part of something called the Knights of Lights holiday promotion. A way to celebrate old world holidays by changing the whole green to the brown. Oh, another part of the codes here too. I should have what I need to open the door. That'll explain a lot. Well, I wonder if I have them on me. Yeah, because I got uh, quite a few of them from the old world ruins. And some of them have like, uh, I think the first one I grabbed had like little four leaf clovers. Seven. Three. Nine. One. Three. Five. There we go. I'm in. Got it. Time to 
back up to Stemmer. I wonder if that's what I could do with this. All right, let's head back up and return our items to everyone. Here's your ornament. But did she bring tidings of triumph or misfortune? I got the gizmo, and it's not the only one I found. Here. The old wordsmith, a keen spark in his eye and gratitude in his heart, held aloft the gizmo that had eluded him. It's called an ornament, actually. Part of a set. Huh. You know, some delvers tapped a ruin north of here recently and said they saw a trinket like this one. Beyond their reach. Might have been another one of these ornaments. That's worth looking into. And so the mystery of the ornament deepened. For what purpose were these trinkets designed? Something called the Knights of Light's Holiday Promotion. It's a way the old ones celebrated special occasions, I think. Like feasts? Kind of. Yeah. Uh, I think a holiday marked a seasonal event. And so does Close the feast in the claim. There's the Feast of the First Keg, the Feast of Fermentation, the All Hops Feast. <laughs> All about ale, huh? I guess I shouldn't be surprised. Anyway, these ornaments could supposedly change the lights above ground, but I'm not sure how. I guess we gotta learn. I recognize this, Markin. Saw the same on a little device we unearthed. Here. I might be able to turn on the lights. Time to find out. Which one should I try first? Uh, Christmas. By our heroine's word, the lights would dazzle the sky. Sure as sparks kindle flame. This must have been wow. some kind of winter festival. No? What kind of beast is that? Almost looks like a pain horn. Let me know if you find any more of those ornaments. Well, how? The old one celebrated. Hold on. Hey, oh, uh, lofty ambitions. Yo, guys, what are you doing? What if we buried them in the sand? Boom traps, but then we might blow up everyone, not just the machines. Hmm. What are you two working on? Red! We're making boom plans. Ah, oh, we struck a deal with Abaddon when we got back. Turns out this place is gonna need some security for all those machines out there. And when he heard how Boomer's invention helped you take down the vanishing dread, we convinced him we were right for the job. <laughs> now we just gotta figure out how we're gonna keep the machines away without blowing everyone sky high. Not everyone. The flying ones are already in the sky. Sounds like you both have a lot of work ahead of you. And a place to call home. Home of the Boomworks. Yeah, we're gonna have to work on that name. These are pretty cool though. You're back! Did you get it? Do you have the device? Oh, please say you do. Oh, we're so close to something truly majestic. Here you go, Mom. Yeah, yep. Yes! Yes! Thank you. I hope getting it wasn't too much trouble. Oh, this design, it's so compact. Oh, the ancients knew how to make them. It should fit the housing like a dream. Just need to cinch up the blaze leads and away we go. Uh, we? Make the maiden flight without the maiden who played such a vital part? My mother raised me better than that. I was like a hot air balloon. Who should have the honor of seeing the world in a way that no one alive has ever seen it? How about it? How can I say no to that? It's a hot air balloon, isn't it?
Oh my gosh, it is. <laughs> I was joking. What oh. was that? Ah, nothing to worry about. We have a sturdy tether connecting us to the ground. Pure Osirum craftsmanship. Well, time to give it a little flame. Aha! We ascend! Behold, the world beneath our feet. Ah, the sky at our fingertips. The burner heats the air inside, which gets lighter than what surrounds it. So we rise. Indeed, we're powered by hot air, just like Stemmer. <laughs> but don't tell me. Hmm. We are on the cusp of history. The first successful Osirum flight. There have been other attempts? Oh, yeah. Uh -oh. The history of Osirum flights is fascinating. And, you know, violent and frequently incendiary. I feel like you should have mentioned this before. No, the others <laughs> failed because their machines were too heavy and complex. They were begging to crash. Not here. Just a pilot compartment, blaze, a burner, the orb, and a tether. Within simplicity, there is perfection. Well, at least, you know, less chance of exploding. You know, if Abaddon were here, you'd be drunk like a wastrel, crippling fear of heights. That said, he gets poetic when drunk. He has evocative rhymes about all his various ledgers. A little known fact, Osram poetry started as work songs and forges around the claim. Uh. <laughs> Just a bit of turbulence. We shall tame these wild skies yet. You're gonna get us killed. This feels like more than turbulence. Uh, for the record, that was not part of the planned aerial experience. Let's head back down. What is that? Is that a stormbird? Uh, yeah, I think our tether just came undone. Oh boy. Moreland! Oh. <laughs> I do not want to go to. I don't want to go to Ozorn. I'm not going to be Dorfy in this. Stormbird. And we're dead. The end. Follow his voice. I'm oh, stuck on the other side. I've got to clear out these machines. Are you serious? Okay. That's the last one. Better check on Morland. Hold on, Morland. I'll get you out. Aloy. Great gears, you're alive. Uh... Hey, you all right? Oh, oh when that maelstrom hit us, everything fell apart. I remember dropping, and then you tumbled out, and... That's okay. We're alive. No. For now. In terms of Osram aviation, <laughs> we're pioneers. And they say it's a cursed field of study. <laughs> Do you need help getting back to camp? Yeah, no, I can make it. But I need to get the burner. I'm in luck. It fell off when we were attacked. I mean, I can replace everything else. Except that. Okay. Let's go. Did you have any idea what hit us? I couldn't get a good look at it in that maelstrom. I think it was a thunderbird. A lightning? It was probably a stormbird. Oh, yeah, that works. Yeah, that too. <laughs> hideous machine. Well, at least it vanished with the storm. Oh. Aloy, 
Would you mind finding a way across? All we need is something to bridge the gap. Uh, I think we're out of luck. Oh, wait a minute. Oh my gosh, dude. Found us a bridge. Efficient and effective. <laughs> Make a fine Osirum. I see it. The burner is right below that storm bird. Ah, yeah. I really need to stop making predictions on what's safe. Gotta be the same one that brought us down. We'll have to kill it to get the burner. You ready? Ready as all ever. Level 30 storm bird. Let me get ready. Oh, are you serious? Let me get up a little bit. That's awesome quality fire. I need to get my stamina pack first. Come on, get this out of here. In the first game. There we go. Yeah. It's dead. Steel to my soul. Oh. Oh, I think that Stormbird had it in for me. Or really fancied my orb. Hey, Lloyd. Uh, over here. When you have a moment. Found it. Ah, <laughs> oh, just a hairline crack in the casing. Yeah, I can clean that up with a bit of spot welding. Assuming the ground doesn't open up and swallow us, I, I'm gonna say we're finally safe. You better not. Yet again, you okay. risked your life for me and my ambitions. I wish I had Stemmer's words to thank you properly. If it helps, you've inspired me to draft up a new improved orb. Something that unites spectacle and survival. Uh, I'm honored, but I think I'll let Abaddon and Stemmer have the next flight. I'll see you back at the camp. There's so much to think about, so many ideas to explore. Until Why am I worried about that? <laughs> may your tools never break, and may your imagination never find its limits. You too, Morland. Let's grab a lot of this because we're going to need a lot of it. I think that was all of it. Yeah. I believe that was all the side quests in, the, um, in this desert area. Hmm. I believe I could fit and I can I believe I could cut down some time so we could fit this new side quest in. All right, I'll see you guys in there. Stand strong. <laughs>
looking at an enemy blade in hand. Hmm. I guess that's in the throne room. Under Hikaro's reign, the grove is reborn. Sounds like a Mark Willard. Well, never mind, it was two, I guess. Moments later, the entire grove is filled with lights. Like the days of the first Tenor. Even more. The truth of the vision was revealed to us. How am I supposed to get to these? Uh, that's probably completely a complete waste for a fast travel pack, but I'm trying to find a way into these side quests. Did he crash? Okay. The ten guide you. Oh, oh wow. Maybe I was wrong about you. Enjoy your time in our settlement. You defended fences. Yes, quit that. The next time I'm gonna leave, I'm heading to the grove to see for myself. Only the determined can be victorious. Champion, I fear we must lean on your strength and generosity again. I remember you. The tribe needs the arena. She's our only hope to getting it open again. You need the arena? But the cool route's over. That's true, but we also use the arena to boost the tribe's morale. We use it for training. Herd in machines so our soldiers can experience the glory of the kill in a controlled setting. Which, of course, boosts morale. But Chief Hikaro won't let us reopen the arena until the ballista protecting the field is repaired. We need it in case a machine runs amok, and it was damaged hmm. during the cool root. The parts we need aren't easy to find. I get it. You need me to hunt down some machines and grab the parts. We'd ask someone else, but every squad in the grove is on alert. But the task is not without compensation, right, Kala? Of course. Once the arena is open again, I would be honored to invite you to compete. A wide variety of machines will be available. And I will award you prizes for victory. Not just from the arena, but also for medals won at hunting grounds. You'll be able to trade them for some of the tribe's very best gear. To fix the ballista, we'll need a sinew from a roller bag, along with some bristleback tusks. Both kinds of machines have been spotted near a campfire to the southeast. You can bring the parts back to what is that? the when you're done. Okay, I'll see what I can do. One more thing. If you're going back into the wilds, I have another duty tied to our soldiers' morale. A regrettable one. Every Tanakh soldier carries a tag carved with their squad symbol. Rebels have been hoarding the tags of the soldiers they kill. You might find such tags at any enemy outpost. If you do, bring them to me. I'll make sure they're returned to the soldier squad mates and loved ones. Having confirmation sometimes soothes their grief. And there are bounties involved, if that matters to you. Ooh. We found some of those tags. Here, a small reward for your efforts. But don't let your guard down. There are still many outposts in the wilds. Thank you, champion. And please don't forget the parts for the ballista. Good luck finding those parts, champion. <sighs> Okay, let's go over to this new quest over here. Guess I need to head southeast to find out. An honor champion. I'm Nako. Have you been out to the Valley of the Fallen by chance? Uh, no. I have. Why? What's there? My idiot little brother. The Valley is a test of endurance and skill from my clan, the Lowlanders. But it's been closed for months. Commander's orders. There have been reports of strange lights off the coast. And the whole area is crawling with deadly machines. But Dax, reckless and bare-armed as he is, went in any way. Never takes no for an answer. Convinced two others to go with him, too. They've been missing for days, and now Marshal Ivira has been sent in to bail them out. Strange lights, deadly machines, and missing soldiers? Sounds like a lot, even for a marshal. I'd go by myself, if I wasn't stuck on transport duty. I'll find your brother, if I can. Where is this valley? Southwest of here. 
in the depths of lowland territory. Look for the climbing path on the cliffs. It marks the start of the valley. And right. if you see my brother, knock him on his ass for making me worry. Okay. All right. Um Thinking about doing this one first. Huh. Where is Huh. Strange lights off the coast. Wait, Values of the Fallen? Yeah, it's probably gonna be a little bit of a walk. Alright. I should look into it when I'm out that way. Walk tall. They are Champion of the cool ah! Chief owes you his life. May your blade be bright. Looks like some rebels died fighting a machine. Hmm. A lot of tracks here. Maybe one got away? I should look around with my focus. What? There. The survivor ran off. Better see where their tracks lead. Why not? <laughs> If it leads to nothing, I could always cut it out of the video. Looks like the survivor headed for that ruin. That's the machine that killed him. What machine? There's green shine here. Perfect. Keep this green shine for later. Wow. What machine killed him? What was that? Oh, Behemoth. Okay, well, he was a scummy rebel anyway, so who cares? Bunch of bristlebacks. That must be the entrance to the Valley of the Fallen. Marshal Vera should be around here somewhere. Oh, hey, I see him up there. There's Marshal Vera with one of the missing Tamok. You saw what happened as. Oh, never mind. I mean, she. I heard you were sent to rescue some Tanakh who went into the valley. I'm guessing you must be one of them. Where are the others? See, they didn't make it. I had to fight off several machines just to get Kanala out. 
The valley was closed months ago for good reason. Machines have gathered in number, as if they're drawn there by something. Not to mention the strange glowing lights off the coast. The valley is cursed. We never should have gone in. Uh, you're a marshal? You were one of the challengers at the cool route. The one who fired the ballista at the slither thing. Oh! And you're the champion who defeated it. Saved the chief's life. Revealed the truth of the visions. I was just doing what I could to help. You made quite an impression that day. And despite the carnage, it was the best day of my life. I became a marshal. Bore witness to the vision of unity. Strange lights. Strange lights off the coast. From an island to the south. They appeared one day out of the blue around the same time the machines moved into the valley. There have also been reports of a streak of light that rises and falls in the sky above the island. I saw it on hmm. night. A flame like a stalker light, light? In the sky until it disappeared among the stars. Is there any way to get to the island? No. The currents between the island and the shore are too strong. You drown for sure. Oh, it's on an island. I wonder if this has something to do with the Zeniths. Don't know what any of that's about, but maybe? Hmm. Why were you in the valley? Limits for months. Why did you go in? We wanted to run the trial. The valley is a great test for lowland soldiers. Survive for ten days and nights. Take down any machine that stands in the way. Dax had a plan. We'd hunt down each machine one by one until we cleared the valley, earned the clan's respect. But we got separated from Yveka after the third day. Then machines cut us off from the way out. By the time Marshal Avira found us, we were wounded and out of supplies. More machines attacked us as we made our escape. Dax was right behind us, but he couldn't run fast enough. I'll go in. in one place. Sounds bad. I better look into it. See if I can put a stop to it. And I'll come with you. Fight by your side. No. Better let me take a look first. Trust me, it's for the best. You could get yourself yes, killed. You insist. And in the valley, head for the Great Falls and the cliff south of the Metal Devil. The machines seem attracted to those sites. Got it. Thanks. We'll rest here a while more, then head for the Medic in Falls Edge. Strike true as the ten, Aloy. Okay. What? I'm sweating everywhere. I think my recording's about to reach its limit. <gasps> Excuse me? Um, I'm, I'm going to end this episode right here. You guys are going to hate me, but I'm going to end this episode right here. And uh, in the next episode, we'll pick up uh, about right here in the valley when we just entering it. Alright, see you guys.